What's up Baldmins, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you a brief history of Pikmin bosses. There might be spoilers, so if you don't want spoilers then I recommend clicking off. But if you're okay with them, then keep on watching. Anyways, let's get it right into it with the first boss. The first boss is the Puff Stall. It's not too bad. It c can turn your Pikmin into Puffmin with its spores, which is literally its only attack. So it doesn't do the worst of damage, but the Puffmin can damage you a lot if you're not careful. So you have to be extremely careful if you want to defeat it. Anyways, that's literally all about the Puffmin, or the Puff Stall. He's got He's basically the first boss in the game, but anyways, on to the second boss. Are you afraid of spiders? Well then, this boss is not for you. The beady long legs will fall down and squash all of your Pikmin. I know, all of your Pikmin if you're not careful. The main way to defeat it is by getting a small group of yellows, so you can defeat it easily because if you had a big group you would ha end up losing way more Pikmin which is not the best to do unless you've got millions and millions of Pikmin the main its main attack is squashing your Pikmin but apart from that it's got no real damage damaging it also holds a ship part the guard satellite anyways on to the next one in three two one Next boss we have the armoured cannon beetle which its main attack is throwing boulders at you which is very damaging in Pikmin 1 because there aren't any rock Pikmin so insta kill any of your Pikmin and the way to defeat it is by getting Pikmin in its blowhole which you can do by throwing Pikmin when it's trying to shoot at you so you can then attack its back which then you'll be able to defeat it anyways on to the next one Next we have the Burrowing Snaggerat which is main attack is to eat all up of your all of your Pikmin. It can eat up to fruit at a time and it will burrow in the ground which are, after you've walked over it it will then come up to try and eat all your Pikmin. To defeat it I recommend hitting its weak point which is its head but I believe you can damage it anywhere. Of course, the weak point is the best place to damage it. Anyways, on to the next one. The weird one, which is the Gulix. It can damage your Pikmin by sucking them into its watery body, which the liquid is, I believe, is water. It's quite a mysterious one, but it's not damaging to blue Pikmin, so it's not too bad. Although, it's main, since its main attack is just drowning the Pikmin, it's not too bad. And also, it, the main way to defeat it is by getting blue Pikmin and defeat, destroying its round pearl-like thing in the middle. Anyways, on to the next one. Next, we have the Mamusha, which is another weird one because it doesn't damage your Pikmin. It just flings them into the ground, which they instantly bud flower. So, to be fair, it's technically useful. Of course, the Mamusha can damage the captain, but apart from that, it can't do much to you. Anyways, on to the next one. Here is the Smoky Prog, the one of the worst bosses in the entire of Pikmin. It basically kills all your Pikmin with its black trail. You have to hit it on the head or throw bombs at it. And it's just a really bad boss. It's very damaging to your Pikmin counters. Of course, there are ways to not lose Pikmin against it, although they are very, very hard. Anyways, on to the next one. Here we are on the final boss of Pikmin 1, the Emperor Bulbax. This is the ultimate test of how good you are at Pikmin. There's practically no way to do this without any deaths. There are, of course, a way. But that's very hard. Its main attack is squishing you and licking you, which are two very fatal attacks, which can defeat a lot of Pikmin. And I mean a lot of Pikmin. I lost almost 200. In fact, I mi lost more than 200 on my first time trying to defeat this, which is quite bad. The main way to defeat it is by hitting its head, which... It's okay to defeat. 
it's not the worst in terms of how to attack it. You can also from bo throw bombs at it, but it's most efficient to throw stuff at it in case it a accidentally blows up some of your Pikmin. Anyways, on to the next one in the Pikmin 2 bosses. First Pikmin 2 boss, we have the Empress Bulbax. This is potentially a relative to the Emperor Bulbax and will roll around destroying all of your Pikmin. It can also sp spawn Bulbax Lava if you're on its second boss fight. But for the first one, it's not too bad. Anyways, on to the next boss. Also, just saying, its main attack is rolling over your Pikmin. And the main way to defeat it is by hitting it, Ted. It's not good if you use any other way to try and defeat it. Anyways, let's get right into it. The reason I haven't included some of the other bosses is because they're duplicates. In fact, I missed three bosses just because they're duplicates from the first game. Which were the Burrowing Snagret, the Beady Long Legs, and the Emperor Bulbax. Which there's nothing different except from the Emperor Bulbax. I, I recommend using purples. Anyways, on to the bread bug. The giant bread bug is a pretty weird one because it tries to get all the treasure. But if any of your Pikmin are trapped with the treasure and it goes into the hole, it will kill them. So also, there's electricity around the map, so be careful for that. Its main attack is, of course, eating your Pikmin in the hole or something like that. And the main way to defeat it is by making over powering it and pull the treasure back to your ship so it can bonk his head and lose some health. Anyways, on to the next boss. The Pleated Snagger is basically the normal Snagger, but it can jump out of the ground. It, again, has the same attack pattern as the normal Snagger, except from it can jump onto its legs, meaning it's a little bit harder, but not too bad. Which, it is best to do it with yellows or purples and doing hit it at the start. But anyways, on to the next boss, because there's not much to talk about that one, so let's get on to the next one. Say hello to one of the worst bosses ever, the Man at Legs. It's basically Pikmin's machine gun. It keeps on shooting at your Pikmin, and if your Pikmin get trapped in the shorts, well, they're instantly dead. A bit like electricity. The main way to defeat it is whilst it's not shooting, it's the top of its body, and the main protection against it is by hiding behind barriers that it can't reach. Now, its main attack is, of course, shooting people, slash Pikmin. Anyways, let's get right into the next Pikmin 2 boss. The Ranging Bloister goes to any of your pick the current leader that you're using, and tries to defeat it. It's very cheesy. You can easily cheese it by switching captains every once in a while, so you can easily defeat it. It's extremely hard without captains, and its main attack is licking up all your Pikmin. Anyways, on to the next one. If you're scared of creepy time limits, well, this is not the boss for you. It may look very scary in the first time you see it, but on its actual boss fight, it's a wimp. It just goes on its wheels, and as soon as you hit with purple Pikmin, it crouches down and you can basically instantly hit it, and then he will crawl up into a ball and try to fling, fling your Pikmin away whilst you torture him by slapping him. His main damaging effect is by rolling over your Pikmin, and it's okay until the actual boss fight. Anyway, let's get into the next boss. Now we're on to another rolling you over boss, the Segmented cross Crabster. Now, the main attack from him, slash the only attack, is rolling in a ball and trying to defeat you. It also drops bowlers, but since it only tries to break the wall, it's pretty easy to get out of the way if you've got fully flowered Pikmin. But if you've got Leaf, it's a little bit harder. Now, it's the way to defeat it is by hitting the blob on its belly, which you can see here. Anyways, we're going to get on to the next boss in 3, 2, 1.
the last boss and we've got a surprisingly easy one, the Raging Long Legs, which you can cheese it by just going under it and throwing loads of purple Pikmin at it. It has got bigger legs though, so maybe that's what the idea was to make it harder. But still it didn't it wasn't harder in my opinion. Anyways, let's get on to the next one. Here we have the Titan Dweevil, the ultimate test for a player's responsibilities, how they can guide their Pikmin, and it has every element in the game. This boss is most well known for its electricity. Yet yeah, it's electricity that can insta kill your Pikmin. Now the main reason that people use yellow is definitely electricity. Until you've t took out the electricity, most people keep with yellows and then change to another colour. It's very hard, it can do a lot of damage to your Pikmin group if you're not careful. So you have to be very careful on this boss. It definitely fits the the final boss mood and I like the boss, I've fought it once before. Anyways, let's get on to he it, no not on to Hey Pikmin, on to Pikmin 3. In 3, I don't need to do this timer. In 3, 2, 1. To Pikmin 3, its first boss is the Armoured Mordad which its main attack is basically charging at you and then licking up all your Pikmin. It's not the worst and you can destroy its shell with rock Pikmin. Although red Pikmin have basically no use in this boss fight, it's still cool to see the rock Pikmin have their first boss fight and show you that you needed to collect them. Its main weakness is of course hitting its body but it's not too hard of a boss fight to defeat and overall it's a good first boss unlike the other ones which either took one or made their own actually none of them took one anyways let's get on to the second boss the behemoth Fozback can be defeated by put lighting up all of the lights and then it will get knocked down into the ground which you can then attack it. Its main attack is basically sucking up all your Pikmin in the first one. It also can attack by putting spores that look like the poisonous spores from Pikmin 1 onto you. Although again it's not too bad of an attack. So it's an okay boss. It's got two stages. It's got the lights out stage where it won't do much. It'll just hide, maybe s suck some of your Pikmin up every once in a while. And on its second phase, which is when all the lights have been turned on, it can basically just suck up all the time. It sucks up more often, basically. Anyways, on to the third boss, the Sand Belching Mere Slug. The sand belching mere slug is a beautiful contrast. The land that it's in is beautiful. Tropical Wilds is honestly one of my favourite zones in the entire of Pikmin 3. And here you have one of the creepiest, weirdest things ever. The sand belching mere slug. Which surprisingly is an amazing boss. It's one of my, it's one of the best in Pikmin 3 to be fair. Now its main attack is eating all of your Pikmin when it does the hole and its secondary attack is putting them into their sprout form by squishing them with its boulders which luckily it doesn't kill Pikmin doing that meaning it's not a rock Pikmin only fight although it can suck them up still even if they're in bud so you gotta be careful to make sure they don't get killed the main the main thing you should do is get all of the bomb rocks you can. Be careful with them in case it accidentally blows up your entire squad. And then once you've got the bomb rocks, throw them into its mouth when it's doing the hull attack. Anyways, we're going to get onto the fourth boss of Pikmin 3. And any normal maestro because it commands a massive horde of scornets and the main attack is of course to make them try to pick up all your Pikmin and eat them, although it's a pretty easy boss because it can be cheesed with wing Pikmin, it's easy to d save the Pikmin, and also if you've got the drum, if you've got the barrel row where you can dodge, 
is very easy. Although if you haven't, then it's very hard. So I recommend getting the roll ability before you fight this boss. Anyways, on to the fifth boss of Pikmin 3. Here is the Quaggled Myoclops. Its main attack is to squish your Pikmin and it can also lick your Pikmin up with when it's down so it's a very br it's a very brutal boss fight now the way to defeat it is by both once you've attacked its legs it will then go open up a new place so basically it will fall down to the floor you can attack its fruit thing which or you'll attack its crystal depending on what stage you're on and then you'll be able to defeat it. It's not too hard. And this is the second to last boss of Pikmin 3. Anyway, let's get on to the last boss of Pikmin 3. Another elemental masterpiece. It uses all of the elements, but this time added every Pikmin has an ability. Pink Pikmin can fly up to it whilst it's flying. Rock Pikmin can de defeat its goo quicker, quicker and have a puzzle. Yellow Pikmin have the electricity, and Red Pikmin have the fire, Blue Pikmin have the water, and yeah, that's basically it. It's a very good boss fight, and unlike the first one where Purple Pikmin, aka not all of the Pikmin were used, this one managed to use every Pikmin, which I love about it. Anyways, that's basically it for the Pikmin 3 bosses, on to P Hey Pikmin. Before Hey Pikmin, time for a battle mode exclusive mini boss, the Baldy Long Legs, the Shaggy Long Legs but without hair, which I'll cover the Shaggy Long Legs by the way. This has actually been recorded after the Hey Pikmin boss fight, so I, d I didn't expect to be going back to good bosses, which the main attack is of course squishing your Pikmin, it's basically Beady Long Legs again, I had to include it though. Because it technically is different, it's a different name and stuff. It can run around all around the map, so that's a big difference. It can go all around the map. Which is better and worse at the same time. But anyway, that's mainly it for the BD long legs. The main way to attack him is by either hitting his head or by having your Pikmin climb up his legs. Anyways, on to Shaggy Long Legs. This long leg surely needs a trim. Shaggy long legs is basically beady long legs, but you hit his the hair on his body to make him turn into a baldy long legs, which I know is not that original, but I enjoy p doing this boss. And there are two of them in the game. I won't. I you know I'll cover Arctic long legs. So you know what? Let's get into the Arctic long legs now. In three, two, one. Also, its weak point is, of course, its head, so nothing else there. Anyways, let's get into it. Oh, it's cold out here. Time for the Arctic long legs. Weak spot, same. Ways to defeat it, same. If basically, main attacks, the same. The only difference is that there is water, so it's a little harder because you can only have blue. And there's no more rock Pikmin, so... It's not you can't cheese it with no squishable Pikmin, meaning that you can have some deaths on this boss fight. It's an okay boss, I like the design. Anyway, let's get on to the next boss. Time for the last original mini boss of the game, the bug eyed chromad. This is actually a really good mini boss. You have to de defeat its eyes for it then to go on its belly, so then you attack it. Now, although it looks painful for its eyes to go all red, it's very satisfying to hit its belly because it's got it's just got that weird effect. And I really like it. Anyways, on to Hey Pikmin bosses, although there was a burrowing snagrut. But it's basically the same. So anyways, on to the next one. For Hey Pikmin's first boss, it is a regular red bulb orb. Its main attack is eating your Pikmin, of course, like normal. And its weak spot is its eyes, as normal. You can also hit his back, which does damage. It's a really easy boss. I don't find any of the bosses in Hey Pikmin even near difficult. But it's okay. Anyways, on to the next one. 
Oh gosh, it's a water dump a bit longer. What's the worst that can happen? Yep, yet another redesign. What are you doing to us, hey Pikmin? Pikmin 3 came up with completely original bosses. And hey Pikmin was just like... Long? Water dump -o. Although it actually could have had a better name and I would have liked it a little bit more. Because it's actually kind of good. And it's an original boss fight. Unlike its name suggests. Which, its main attack is throwing rocks at you and eating your Pikmin. And you can defeat it by throwing Pikmin at it. Of course. Anyways, on to Hey Pikmin's next probably bad boss. Sorry Hey Pikmin, you have a few flaws. Oh look, and a m our mark. This definitely hasn't been done before. Well, at least I don't think it's been done for before. Just kidding. It it looks a little familiar, if you know what I mean. I'm pretty sure we've gotten something like this before. I might actually be wrong. Its main attack is to, well, squish your Pikmin. And you can defeat it by hitting its pink bits. Not that bad. It's also got a spike, which... It's not the worst of bosses, but again, this is Hey Pikmin. It's not the best. Oh yeah, and guess what? It does another spinny move. Woo! We all love spinny moves. Anyways, let's get on to the next boss. Electric Cottonade. Ooh, this one sounds cool. Its main attack is sucking up all your Pikmin. It can also strike electricity but sucking up your Pikmin is the only one that actually does substantial damage except from getting Olimar beaten up. You can throw your Pikmin into its body. It finds with its family which is cool. It's a cool idea. I personally like this boss to be fair. I can admit this was a good boss for me. Of course it was not the best. It would have it would have been cool in 3D but I don't really know. Anyways, on to an yet another Hey Pikmin boss. Actually, Hey Pikmin's the last game, I believe. Queen Shearwig. This seems a little similar to the Scornet Maestro. I wonder if they're friends or if they're basically just the same boss. Yep, and the Shearwigs aren't even original as well. Wow! Another amazing Hey Pikmin boss. It's okay in 2D, you basically just infinitely fall, which... Huh? It can also do a little spinny attack itself now, which I guess is okay, but anyways, on to Hey Pikmin's next boss. Of course it's another redesign. Of course it's another of the same boss. <gasps> wow, this is the peak of Pikmin Gaming. I cannot believe they did it again. They used up another boss. The fiery blowhog's main w the main way to attack it is by hitting its body after it's been knocked off the stage, which it's okay. It's not good. It's okay. It's basically just fighting a fiery blowhog. Also, you throw a bomb into its mouth. And one of its attacks. A bit like the sand belching mere slug. Anyways, on to the next Hey Pikmin boss. And guess what? It's probably going to be another copy. Oh look, it's that rock thing that has the rock Pikmin inside from Pikmin 3. I'm going to give it the benefit of a doubt. Because it does look somewhat original. It tries to suck up all your Pikmin of course. And you can hit its head as its weak spot. Again, it's not original. Let's go to the next unoriginal boss fight. And it's probably actually going to be unoriginal. So get let's get into it. And it's another copy. Although this time it's literally a copy. The Emperor Bulbax. It eats up all your Pikmin as always. You can throw bombs in its mouth. And you can run around the weird circle. And all of that stuff. Once again, unoriginal. But the final boss sure is a treat. It's a treat compared to all of these unoriginal bosses. Anyways, let's get into it because I cannot wait to do it. Also, you, it's weak spot slash the way to defeat it is by throwing bombs in its mouth. Anyways, let's get into it. 
<gasps> we got an original boss. This, it's okay. It's kind of pikmin -y. It can use the pi poison element. And overall, even though it only uses reds, which is a little bit annoying. Because it basically just dumps all other types in the game. It's still good enough for me because of course it's an original boss the main way to defeat it is by hitting its head and its main attack is throwing a poison at you so it's an okay one anyways that's the end of hey pikmin and that's the end of the video don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps me a lot anyways i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye